Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland. I have an Irish whiskey, West Cork, 16-year-old, 40%, whiskey base number 146503. Now this is sold in Germany for exactly 49.90 euros, so 50 euros, so about 60-65 $60, Now, um, the West Cork Distillery actually started their own um, way nice pop, even though it is a artificial cork. They started manufacturing their own spirits in 2008. So we now have 2020. So how do they have a 16-year-old whiskey? Well, they bought it. They did not make it. Many of you have still the opportunity to buy West Cork 12-year-old, probably the rum, the port, and the sherry. Those were also bought, by the way. They were not made by West Cork. Um, this is all basically Coolie juice. Coolie Distillery was started then by John Teeling. John Teeling sold it to a Beam, which was later on bought by Beam Centauri. And he took a lot of barrels with him, over 40,000 to be exact. And he sold a lot of those bar barrels. I think it was Ed here by the um, Rot Gut Review that said basically most of the whiskey in Germany, I'm uh, Germany, in Ireland is either a um, Bushmills or a Cooley clone, which was a good word. And the rest is just red breast and uh, products made by Middleton. Slowly but surely, other products are coming on the market. I will be in Ireland at the end of March, the beginning of April 2020. And I will try to visit another 12 to 14 different of the new distilleries that have popped up since um, September. Uh, in August of 2018, I visited also 12 different distilleries there. Fantastic to see what's happening in the Irish whiskey industry. So I'll almost get my 30 different distilleries together that are now actually online or um, actually still are already producing there. So um, this is basically the same juice as this. Many of you can also find the, um, the Tur Connell um, single malt. 16 year old oh this is by the way a single malt very very good not a blended whiskey this over here in germany costs about 70 euros so we're talking about 85 90 um dollars one second please so i don't know. a dingle glass don't use dingle when talking about other products sorry um <laughs> bad jason bad jason so this is basically exactly the same as this, except for two major factors. Factor number one, 40%, 46%. Both are 16 years old. Both were manufactured or made or produced, better said, by the Cooley Distillery in Ireland. Both are single malts. And the second major factors are, are the casks that were used. Here we have high quality first and second fill bourbon casks. Here we have not so high quality bourbon casks, second, third, maybe in fourth fill. Back then, Cooley didn't have a lot of money sometimes, and they were using very, very mediocre to inferior casks, in my opinion. I can almost always pick out a Cooley whiskey by the taste of that old cask moment. Now, let's nose these. This is a very typical um, representative of an Irish whiskey. You have a little bit of honey, you have a little bit of a um, caramel, you have a little bit of the grain, you have a little bit here of the wood, you have a little bit of the, um, a little bit of an almost you know, honeysuckle moment. Very, very nice, very, very quiet whiskey. Um, if you had the volume, this is turned down to almost like a three. Ten would be full power, and three is where this is at. This is very subtle, even with its 40%. Alcohol is a very, very slight, slight moment there. Over here, wham, you get just a full-bodied whiskey here for Irish, where you get a lot of that honey, the caramel, the wood, um, a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to go for honeysuckle again, a little bit of a blossom here, a little bit of um, clove, clover, not clove, sorry. Mm, brown sugar, nice. Very, very nice whiskey. I like the Turkundal, um a lot. 
There's also a newer version, which is the 16-year-old with Muscatel mm -hmm. and Ololoso finish. Very, very nice. Over here in Germany, it's three euros more. Much, much, a very, very good value for money than this. But this is still a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. Maybe one of the, the best 16-year-old whiskeys out there at the moment from Ireland. So there aren't that many out there. Um, there was a 17-year-old. It's called the Retronaut. Um, Blackwood Distillery is also a new distillery that's just starting up. And they um, bought some old casks from Cooley as well. And they bottled it, I think, like three years ago. Okay, over here, I'm starting to get a kind of a little bit more of the clover coming out. A little bit more of a flowerly, flower floral moment. I'm going to stick with the honeysuckle. All right, good. Not a bad nose, actually. This is going to be a C plus, actually, on that. Very, very nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Now wait for it. Bloop. The aftertaste is a disappointment. Those old barrels kick in. Now, what West Cork did with its 12-year-old, with its rum, the port, and the sherry um, expressions, is they knew about the problem. So what, they, what did they do? They tried to mask that finish, that old, tired, worn-out bourbon barrel finish with a true finish of a port, of a sherry, of a rum. And they did an okay job of it. I wasn't a big fan of the West Cork, but that's the way things are. Um, I have no idea if you can get these in the States or not. Um, West Cork had a IPA, which was a green bottle, and a stout, which was a blue bottle. These ran around 30 um, euros over here, so about $40. They were magnificent. They were actually out of the ballpark. They were so good for the price of the amount and the money you got for that. I thought they were actually better than a Teeling Stout. Better than the Castmate Stout here from Jameson. So those are very, very good whiskeys. Everything else from West Cork has been a little bit of a miss rather than a hit for me. And the same thing here. Um, yeah, that finish just doesn't do it. I don't know why they didn't do a finish on this one. If they have had done a finish, maybe an Ololoso, maybe a Moscatel, maybe even a Calvados, or even a Virgin Oak would have maybe changed this into something that's more of a, that's a spectacular thing. 50 euros for 16 years of age for Irish whiskey is actually a bargain. But you want something that tastes good, don't you? At least I do. Over here, the Bushmills 16-year-old is up over 70, 80 euros at the moment. It reached its peak at about 100, and then it went back down because there was a new supply. But still, <clears throat> so expensive and so delicious. Mmm. 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 This is how older Irish whiskey should taste. Mm. And at the end, that finish is just very, very, very gradual. And so it goes back to that um, good oak and um, nice. Well done. If you can find this, still go for it. If you can find the blue bottle, go for that as well. Going one last back to one time back to the West Cork, 16-year-old. As I said, the nose is actually more than adequate. This is a 7 on the volume scale, maybe even a 6. This is more of a 3, maybe dialing it up to 4 after a moment or two on the volume side. But this is actually a C, a C plus, maybe even a B minus here on, the, on, the, on my scale of quality. Mm-hmm. If it weren't for that finish, wait, wait for it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it drops a lot. Mm. Oh, yeah. If it weren't for the finish, I'd actually give this almost a B minus. I'm going to give it a C minus. So sorry. That's the way it is. Um, value for money over here, at least in Germany, is going to be a D plus. 
Um, A, why haven't you bought it? B, buy it. C, you can buy it if you want to. D, don't need to. And um, F, why was it even made? All right, who cares about that one? But this is something if you really, really want it in your, um, in your collection, go for it. If you really want to enjoy it, spend a little bit more money, buy something like this instead. I'm excited about what, what, about what West Cork is bringing out in the future. I think they're going to have some good things out there. Um, especially with the new um, spirit that they produce themselves and not just bothered or cloned from the um, Cooley distillery. All right, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of an American over here in Europe, tasting f rare and exotic whiskey. My question of the day is, what Irish whiskey over the age of 16 do you know about? We have, for example, Redbreast 21. We have a Bushmills 21. We have a Napoke Castle um, 21, we have the Retronaut 17, anything else out there that you know of? I mean, we have a Bushmill 16, but there's not that much, is there? Help me, help me, help me, write in the comments any type of Irish whiskey over the age of 16 that you have tried, heard of, or actually purchased. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell others about this crazy guy over here in Europe tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And thank you very much for all your comments. You can contact me every day, any day of the week at whiskeyjason at gmail.com. All the best. See you then. Bye-bye.